about people coming, about the coalition. They got um, the bingo invitation in Gaza. They had our um, program in Gaza. They had everything. And how long ago was this? Was, uh, I would say, a complete list uh, two weeks ago. But they also had the um, invitation uh, two time ago, almost one month ago. And that was to the Egyptian government, yes. yes. At, the, at the Egyptian embassy in Paris. And the American embassy, the, the U.S. contingent presented the same materials to the Egyptian embassy in Washington. And the same thing from Brussels in Belgium. And I think the same thing in Switzerland, right? You gave, you no, you gave the invitation. No. Not, not the artist, but the invitation. And our, first, our apologies from the American delegation. We do not, some members speak some French, but we are very bad with the language, and we apologize. I'm Karine, I'm from French, near Deutschland, in the north. I'm a teacher, and often I come to Palestine to ISM, and the deport of the United States. And you got here? I'm um, happy. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm Palestinian from France. I uh, live in France before '88. I'm uh, 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 I've tried to go to Gaza many times, but uh, we are all the time blocked here. Uh, I tried to go to Palestine from Jordan many times ago, and it was okay for me with my uh, French passport. But last summer, in uh, August, uh, the Israelis they put the entry denied in my passport without reasons. And now I can go to Palestine for all of my life. And I hope that I can go to Gaza now. And uh, I, uh, I say thanks for all of the people uh, with the very... Uh, with the people, with the Palestinian, and you, you, make, you give a chance for the Palestinian, and you give them the force to, to continue. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Anne Wright. I'm a former U.S. government official, and I resigned 11 years ago in opposition to the war in Iraq. And since then, I've been working on many issues to improve Palestinian issues. I've been a part of the Gaza Freedom March. I've been to Gaza six times since 2009, and was also on the Gaza Freedom Flotilla that was attacked by the Israelis. And I too have been deported from Israel. My name is Pat Shapey. I'm from Boston, United States, from Racine, Wisconsin. I'm a Catholic sister and I'm here representing my community. They sent me because they want to be in solidarity with the women. I retired from I was an educator. I'm Kate, I'm also from the US and I'm a student and I interned with Code Pink who coordinated the US delegation here. I am from the my name is Agila. I am from France. Uh, I am nurse. Maintenant, je parle un tout petit peu, <laughs> un tout petit peu anglais. Désolé. Je suis exempte un peu de l'anglais. Nurse. Oh. 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 Uh, I'm Cindy. Uh, I work as a research assistant in the field of epidemiology, and uh, I've been to the West Bank for three months uh, in 2009. And uh, yeah, that's Educator sportif. Sport educator. Teachers. And uh, so I'm here again in Cairo. I was here in uh, 2009. 2009. Uh, during the Gaza Freedom March. And you are also uh, the European uh, Kung Fu Champion? Yes, I'm also uh, <laughs> European Kung Fu. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Barbara Briggs Letson. I'm from California in the United States, and I'm also an RN, a nurse. A nurse, yeah. <laughs> I'm French from uh, the city uh, of Lyon and uh, I've been to Palestine uh, many times but uh, 
now I'm blacklisted in Israel and uh, I want to go together. Go <laughs> together. Hi, I'm Sabrina. I live in Paris from France and uh, it's my first time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joanne Lingle. I'm from the United States, from um, Indianapolis, Indiana, and this is my fourth uh, Code Pink delegation of Gaza Freedom March. Got into Gaza one time in um, Pakistan, um, and this makes number four. I work uh, uh, with Christian peacemaker teams in the West Bank since 1997. Uh, Catherine Waters from New York. I am working on being an independent journalist because, you know, the media is not so good in the U.S. I learned of Code Pink at a lot of Occupy protests, um, anti-war protests, anti-war on Syria, and uh, met one girl last year who came to, on this trip, and then I was on the website and I saw to apply as a delegate and I tried, I said, oh, they're never going to pick me, but I filled it out anyway. And then they did. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm going. And uh, so I wanted to film. Oh, uh, that's the reason why. And meet all courageous people around the world. I'm a woman uh, in the world and I support Palestine with all my heart. C'est pas très loin, c'est dans les mêmes quartiers. Ah ouais, ouais, ouais. Oui, mais là. Si nous avions plus de gens qui ne sont pas des Américains avec nous, je ne pense pas que ça ne va pas aider. Je pense que ça ne va absolument pas qu'on y aille. Ah oui. Ok. Peut-être que pour nous, si tu peux nous aider, si tu as un large groupe de gens, tu peux nous aider à être des Français. Ah ok. Donc, nous pouvons venir avec toi, ça va vous aider. Oui. to uh, have a coverage and a, a coverage that is in the favor of our camp and not in favor of uh, those uh, bastards of uh, the Egyptian government and, and, and so on. And uh, how can we get the coverage by, with, with, with the means we have? Uh, you're 20 or so, 15 or so altogether, this is not the same thing than being seven or eight. Uh, it, it shows a different picture. Uh, je faisais uh, un plaidoyer en faveur de ce que vous y alliez toutes à l'ambassade et pas de manière, et pas de manière scindée, parce que je disais les chances Qu'est-ce que c'est l'enjeu aujourd'hui C'est que nos, nos femmes dans la zone soient libérées et puissent aller... Euh, Then I published in the past where in Italy, where I was living, three books about the Palestinian question, including one book about the gas. And I published plenty of articles in French, English, and Italian. Wow. Oh, a lot of background. And, and do you have your, your, could you talk about what you've written? About what? About, about what you've written about Gaza, about Palestine. I can't. Yes. So I need another 10 books. <laughs> yes. Because 11 years, yes. it's incredible. Oh. You cannot imagine. If you could just even tell us, and, and I'm not suggesting this minute, but, but we're going to have some time together, to tell us about how you saw life in, in Gaza, life in Palestine evolve or devolve over the years you were there. How did it change? You cannot imagine. I need time to explain. So, uh, different stage. Yes. From the worst to the worst. I think no hope, but we have to hope. Yes. We have to be optimistic, but uh, the reality we see is different. It's black. Black, black, black. I can't believe I have to stay in Cairo to ask authorization to go to Gaza. I can't believe that. 
It is unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, when when you start talking about the the total lack of agency, the total lack of autonomy, the total lack of, of the the right to be, and it's it's denied the the Gaza. When I, I entered Gaza in uh, December 1999, coming from the Zionist entity at the northern, north, northern border, Erez. It was very easy. Get some papers, some checks. This was December 1999. Imagine now, we cannot enter from the north and as well from the south. And you can't enter from the sea. We can't. There is no way to enter. My mother died in Marseille in November uh, 2008. Already there was a blockage in Gaza, embargo. And after that, I couldn't get out before the death of my mother. And after, and the French authority were not helping us. I wrote here to the consulate and the embassy and the, to the embassy to Kushner, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, no answer. They let us dying in Gaza, the national, international and the national. It's a scandal, the French authority. So, so what are you doing here? Here. Yes, why are you here yeah. at the council? We would, like to, we would like to liberate our sisters, like to meet our sister from struggle. And which sisters are those? What? The sisters at the airport yes. and the sisters in the, Gaza? Yeah, they are, they are like uh, uh, in jail, in the airport. <laughs> Enter the consul, the yes. French consul, to ask uh, one uh, one uh, boss <laughs> yes. to receive them, because the consul is uh, for foreign uh, for French and embassy is like uh, diplomacy. Uh -huh. That's why we come here. So he's going to see you now, or this yeah, afternoon? yeah, he enter and uh, he's very surprised for. Uh, the journalists come with us. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. This is nice. Huh? Very <laughs> we good. have a lot of people. <laughs> Goodbye, French sisters. Au revoir. Come back. Come back. Eight, uh, six. And they want to cut the group uh, to go back. And if they don't want, uh, they, um, they think they use uh, force. Did they say they are afraid that they use uh, by, by force, you know? That the, that the Egyptian police will yes. force them onto the plane? Onto yeah. plane. Yes, Did yes. Did they say why? Uh, no, no. They don't know why. They speak about the uh, problem with Hamas and Egypt. You know, because Did you all have a chance to say to them, would you stop this Hamas red herring? Uh, sorry, you know, I don't Well, it's, it's, a, it's a ruse. The, Hamas has nothing to do with us going there right now. I, I'm sorry. No, I don't no, no that's, that's all right. No, uh, it's... 48? 48 women are, are being detained? Yes. From the French yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all resisting. Yeah, the uh, uh, ask them, please tell tell them they go back, they go back uh, peacefully. They are afraid that uh, the police Egyptian take take them by a very violent. You know, they are afraid of this, but they tell for us, go back, please, because he don't have way. He don't enter, never. No, no very interesting information. They are just telling uh, us that we should tell our friends inside that they should go uh, and obey to the Egyptian and uh, take uh, the, the plane where they want to, uh, them to take and obey. 
so, but so. we are not accepted in Egypt. They have to go back. They are uh, deported. They will not be accepted. They, they will not. No, they will not. And, and the, the French government Definitely. isn't going to advocate no, for them. They said that the, the Egyptian government is uh, is the, uh, has the right to to, to say so. It's, it's his right to deporte people even without giving reason. So given, given your long history of, of French democracy, uh, were you able to persuade them of anything? We did not, uh, we have, but we have an appointment with the ambassador uh, this evening. But I, um, we are not uh, very confident with that appointment. So, Activité 
envisagé, c'était de faire une grande... De, de, de mettre les 1300 volontaires qui étaient arrivés au Caire pour faire une euh, démonstration sur le Nil. Ah ouais. Avec des bougies, etc. Ah ouais, et ouais. les flics sont arrivés, ils ont enlevé les moteurs des bateaux donc, euh, oh. <rire> pour empêcher les vêtements. I was holding the fort at the, at the embassy, so I, think I was among those yes. who, had to, who had to stay and hold the fort while the others were... It was. We all have photographs of that still, yes. But the police, that was the first time the police brought all of their people out with their things, you know, who were going, what's going on? We just want to go on the river. So here we are on the international delegation that was hoping to go to is to uh, Gaza, and my guest is. Could you give us your name and spell it, please? Sure. Uh, uh, my name is Cindy Sand. Um, I spell it C I N D Y, and my surname uh, Z A H N D. And and you're part of the international delegation. Where do you come from? I'm from Switzerland. Uh huh. And what is it, Cindy, that brought you to be part of this delegation? Well, um, it's the fact that I think we can no longer... For me, the goal of this mission was really to break the silence uh, that surrounds the siege of Gaza by the Israeli forces. So for us, uh, for me, this mission, even though we didn't get into Gaza, is a big success because for me, the, the goal was not so much as going into Gaza than breaking the silence around this siege. We, what we have, what I really want people to understand, because I mean, we have seen reports uh, of sewage water flooding Gaza. We have read report of not enough medicine uh, being available in Gaza and people starving. But what I would like people to understand is that this humanitarian crisis is totally manufactured by uh, the Israeli occupation forces that are besieging Gaza. Yes. So, so are you part of a group in Switzerland? Do you have a, a group that's that's in solidarity with the Palestinians, or how did how did you come to be here? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm a member of the uh, uh, collective that's called Collective Urgence Palestine. Uh, I guess in English you you can understand uh -huh. the, uh, its uh, purpose. Um, so I've been involved since two thousand and eight. And uh, I happened to be involved because uh, I attended a conference at my university. At that time, I had no idea what Palestine was, where uh, it was on the map. And uh, here, this um, woman, she was an engineer from, uh, from the West Bank. And she came and she started telling us about the occupation, about the ongoing colonization of the West Bank. And I was so shocked. I mean, I, I thought colonization had ended in the last century and then she told us about that she told us about this uh, a segregation system that's in place in the west bank that is very much similar to the one that was in place in south africa that apartheid exactly yes. so uh, that really made, i mean it, uh, it was a big shock for me and uh, since then i've been reading a lot i went to the west bank and it really i mean it was a life-changing uh, event for me this meeting with this woman. Her name is Fadia Daibes. Yes. So did, did she inspire other students the way she did you? Oh, I'm totally sure she did. <laughs> yes. Yes. So you have an ongoing group in... What, where in Switzerland are you? Um, well, I just moved, but I was based until like two weeks back uh, in Lausanne. So it's in the French part uh -huh. of Switzerland, not far from Geneva. 
and uh, we have a very active group it's a small group but we have a stall in the market every Saturday like the whole day we just like uh, speak about Palestine we distribute leaflets we tell the people what's going on there um, we have petition you know now in Switzerland yes I mean Switzerland is supposed to be this neutral country uh, but uh, now the Swiss government is planning to buy six Israeli drones um, that have been, you know, tested to to bomb uh, civil Palestinians during the 2008-2009 uh, attack on Gaza. So we are very much involved in the campaign against um, the Swiss government buying these drones. Um, and otherwise I'm involved in the BDS campaign, of course, because I think most of our work in solidarity with the Palestinians is to be done at home. Uh, what we want is to... Uh, that our government takes sanction against uh, Israel for his violation of the human rights of the Palestinians. And Switzerland is special in the sense that it is, I mean, it has signed the Geneva Convention, but it's also the country, uh, le depositaire, I don't know how to say that in English. Uh, I mean, it's where it was signed, this yes, Geneva Convention. Yes, the Geneva Convention was signed in, in Geneva, Geneva, Switzerland. Right? So, I mean, we very much would like that Switzerland take a stance and uh, ask Israel to respect this convention that are really important for humanitarian, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, le droit humanitaire. Uh, for, for liberty and humanity, for, for the liberation of humanity. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. Um, we have a BDS movement in the U.S. also, and, uh, and could you talk about what, what your BDS, that's the Boycott, Divestments, and Sanctions movement, uh, what what your focus is in in, uh, in Switzerland or uh, or in Lausanne or? Yeah, sure. Uh, right. Uh, it depends a bit. We're trying to be strategic, uh, but the uh, now we have just started a campaign at the University of Lausanne. Uh, for the academic boycott because it, we think it's a very important part of the boycott it's not the easiest uh, but it's an important one and for example at the, the university where I studied that is a technical university they have a major collaboration with um, in academic institution uh, in Israel including the Technion in Tel Aviv that is very much involved uh, in supporting the occupation and the development of uh, um, war material so we would like to uh, like that the students are aware of this and we would like the university to take a stance and to stop collaborating with this kind of institution yes so and and how has the university responded or well, has it well you know what we've done now we've created a student group we just had a long interview with the palestinian on the um, academic boycott published in the university journal so for us, that was already a big step, you know, to manage to have something like that published uh, in the university journal. So it's the very beginning of this uh, campaign. I think the academic and cultural boycott are probably the, the most difficult part of the boycott campaign. Yes. Uh, the, the consumer boycott is uh, m in a much more advanced stage in Switzerland. And, uh, you know, actually I was uh, in the market like two weeks ago on the Saturday uh, distributing leaflets about the, the product, which products to boycott and why. And like, you know, most of the people tell me, oh, no, thanks, it's okay, I already know, I already boycott Israeli products, it's okay, and uh, yeah, I know which one. I mean, people, uh, it has changed a lot. I mean, people are very supportive, they understand why we need to boycott uh, Israeli product. Uh, so I think if I speak with people, because we've had that collective for 10 years now, so my comrades have been doing that. They had that soul uh, since in the past, for the past 10 years, every Saturday. And uh, at the beginning, it was extremely difficult for them to speak about boycott. People would not understand, and they were very much against it. But it has really shifted, and we get a lot of support. Great. Thank you. All right. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here. Hello. Thank you. And, uh, and could you say and spell your name? Yeah, I am Abir Ahmad, Abir A B double E R, Ahmad uh, Hamad H A M A D. I am Palestinian from France. Yes. I'm French also. <laughs> so, so here we are in Cairo. Yeah. And uh, so, what brought you here to Cairo? 
Uh, I came to Cairo to, to participate with um, a delegation of women for Gaza, women for Gaza. We tried to, to enter to Gaza to be with the women there uh, for the Women's Day 8th of March, but uh, <laughs> we did not allow now to go. That's why I'm uh, stay here. Yes. I'm staying here. And I'm waiting, I'm waiting for some hopes to get uh, authorization to go to Gaza by my embassy, the French embassy. We are waiting uh, till now. Yes. And this is the 9th of March. Yeah. So you're still waiting. I'm still waiting, yes. Yeah. So you're part of a larger delegation um, from women in, from a number of places in, in France. Yes, from different uh, cities from France, yes. yes. So do you have a, a, a good, strong organization in France supporting the Palestinian people? Yes, there is many, many uh, associations, there is many committees, uh, uh, French or Palestinian or uh, Arabic uh, organization there in France. They support uh, Palestinian and they uh, all the time they make, um, you know, event and uh, the blue, uh, you know, the BDS uh, boycott uh, of the product of uh, coming from Israel. They make many, many actions in France, yeah. Yes. There is a large uh, people, a large community of people, they support uh, Palestinian. So are, are you involved in the BDS, the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions Movement? E yes. yes. Uh, yeah. and, and is there a particular focus? I know in the US one of the big things is boycotting soda stream mm -hmm. and, uh, and other products. Uh, is there a particular focus in France? Yes, yes, really, yeah. The, there is um, the focus for the product coming from the, you know, uh, settlements in the uh, uh, ter Palestinian territory, almost. Yeah, they make very attention uh, for the people do not buy any product coming from uh, settlements, you know, uh -huh. uh, colonies in French, uh, colony, uh, Israelis colony in the, the Palestinian territory. And also, yes, uh, Soda Stream also, and um, they uh, make a large action uh, against, um, you know, uh, the society which uh, trying to c make the construction of uh, the metro, uh, the, the tramway, sorry, and yes. Jerusalem also. It's a French uh, society, yeah. Oh, it yeah. is? Yeah, yeah. And, and are you having much success? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we see we got success and they didn't accept to, to go uh, to make the, the, pro the, pro the project there in Israel. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's quite a success. Yeah, very, yes. very good success, yeah. Uh, but we still almost have problems there in France because, um, you know, media and uh, almost uh, political m m m peoples uh, they support Israel and they try to do their best to uh, to, ki uh, to kick out uh, to kick us out from all of these and uh, almost they use them you know the uh, justice the, uh, the tribunal also to attack us for the BDS yeah uh -huh. sometimes we win sometimes no <laughs> yes. we had some problems yeah for some uh, um, uh, people militing for the BDS. So have, have people been arrested, protest? Yes. Yeah, yes. yes. And, yes. and what have... Uh, they, are, they have judgment. Uh, I know there is uh, still now, I think there's three people, they had almost problem with um, French uh, justice, you know. Yes. But we, there is an avocat and, uh, you know, a lawyer. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm sorry for my bad English. <laughs> it, it's much better than my French, and God knows it's better than my Arabic, <laughs> both of which you speak fluently. <laughs> So um, you you are French of Palestinian descent? Yes, yes. I'm um, I'm Palestinian. I arrived in France in 88, 19, 1988 after my baccalaureate to make studies. Uh, that's why I got the, also the French passport. Um, I'm so great to, to be French also. Yes. Uh, but I'm Palestinian uh, before all. I'm Palestinian and. Uh, I try to do all what I can to support my uh, people, to support my uh, the, all of uh, you know n um, reclamation of uh, Palestinian. Yeah, yes. for our uh, we had to go back to our homes in Palestine. 
I call it yeah, the, the right of return. Back. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you still have family in Palestine? Yes, I have family yes. uh, near of uh, Janine. Yeah. In Janine? Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. We're, we're very familiar with Janine, the Freedom Theater there. Yeah, I know. Yes. The I visited before and I meet um, Mr. Uh, oh, Julius, um, Juliano. Yes. Uh, it's so sad he died. So tragic, so, yeah, yes. So tragic, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so you were hoping to go to Gaza and you're still hoping to go yeah, to Gaza? Yeah, I'm still hoping, uh, I'm still waiting. Yes. Um, <laughs> I hope that uh, the French embassy they can uh, help us to, yes. to get authorization to go to Gaza. Yeah, yes. I hope. So is there, is there anything else you want to share about this delegation or your, your expectations? Uh, we are very sad that uh, the, the Egyptian, they, uh, they did not allow uh, uh, almost, uh, I think, 80 people, 80 women yes. to enter to Egypt. Uh, we are uh, the survivors, <laughs> I think. We are, <laughs> uh, yes. Eight, we, we was, uh, I think, uh, 18 or 20, 20 women. Yes. And we now we just, uh, uh, there is you, and the Americans, and uh, one uh, Swiss, and uh, I think nine uh, French. Yes. Yeah. We still hope that to, to, to find a solution to go to Gaza because we have many, many things to give to people there, almost money and, uh, you know, uh, to, to see them, to, to tell them that we are here and we support them and we didn't forget them also. Yes. Do, do you think that your delegation and ours being refused entrance into Gaza uh, are even more committed today to, uh, to work for justice for the Palestinians? Do you think this, this ob these obstacles they have put in our way make us more determined, give us yes. more courage to continue yeah, the have, struggle? Yeah, 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 yes, yeah. yes, yes. Because we uh, support, um, uh, you know, the Palestinian cause. It's uh, uh, something uh, we had rights, you know. Uh, we reclaim something. It's um, we we have been, uh, you know. A victim, I don't know the name in uh, the, the word in in English. Victim, we are um, uh, victimized. Victimized, yes. yeah, Palestinian, because uh, all of the world accept the creation of the Israel, the, you know. Yes. In uh, 1948, before that, there is no Israel. You know, yes. this is uh, injustice. You know, it's not just. It's not just. It's not fair for Palestinian that we took their land their homes and we give it to other people they didn't uh, they, 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 they have nothing in Palestine Palestine it was for all of Palestinian uh, Jewish uh, Christian Muslim you know for yes. everybody yes why why to do that why to 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 devise Palestine and to to give uh, more than 50 percent 52 percent of the Palestine for the Jewish yes why why to bring uh, people from all over the world and to, t to tell them comes to Palestine, it's a land without people, yes. they tell for the Jewish in the world. Right. Come, come, we are go going to give you a land for you, a home for you. Why? Yes. And they kick the Palestinian out. Now the Palestinian, they are the refugees. Why? Is it fair? Of course it's not fair. No, and I think the, the, the only good news is, is this is a worldwide movement. Yeah. for justice for the Palestinians. I hope and, that uh, we can continue and we, we can get some... Uh, and, and even though I think our, our, we were not able to get into Gaza, I think we have formed our own bonds among ourselves to, uh, to take great courage and to keep going yes, until yeah, Palestine to, yeah. is free. Yes. yes, Palestine will be free. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.